Today, I'm going to answer a question. That question comes from my video on what is ground, but it really relates to a lot of other things. And that question is, if I take two batteries and touch them end to end, why doesn't the positive side of this battery suck the electrons out of this battery and discharge it? I never quite thought of it that way, but why doesn't that discharge the other battery? Well, let's put these batteries down and take a look at that. Now, what I'd really like to do is to go get some acrylic cylinders and some other plastic and some cement and cut up a cylinder and make a little vessel and make a good demonstrator on a table with some blue colored water. But that'll take a couple of days and I can draw pictures in a matter of seconds. So let's get on with it. Let's say I have a clear plastic vessel with some water in it. And I'm going to put a little valve on each end. And I'm going to connect that to another like vessel down here. Getting sloppier and sloppier with my drawing here, but we get the point. Now I'm going to fill this one completely with water. So that vessel's full of water and I have a valve up here, so let's put a little knob on here to show that I can open these valves up. And there's no water in here. So right now, these are disconnected because this valve is closed. So the water in this vessel cannot get into this vessel over here. But what's going to happen if I open this valve now? So it's now open and we have gravity pulling down on the water. So is the water going to flow into this vessel? Well, it's not going to for two reasons. One is, well, one is that it's full of air. And now, of course, if this was big enough, the water would be able to go in and air would be able to work its way back up and it would be able to transfer. But we're going to assume that this is thin enough that the air is not going to be able to work its way past the water. The surface tension is going to be too much to allow the air to pass by. So I'm going to open this valve and the water is not going to go through. You can show this what happened. Like if you can take a, a soda bottle or something, fill it up, put your thumb over it, turn it upside down and you can slide your thumb off. And until your thumb gets far enough off that some air can get back in, that water is not coming out. So that's one reason. That's probably, I could just leave this explanation right there, but I'm going to go a little further, but we open that up and unless some air can get from here into there, that water is not going to go out. And even if I could, let's open up this one down here. But even with this one open, now unless I can get air in here, that water is still not coming out. So it's not a matter of them simply being connected. I can't get the water out of this vessel unless I can let something else back in. Now electricity is going to be a little different. We can't trade the electricity for air like I can trade the water for air. So we'd have to make a complete circuit. So let's go ahead and draw a complete circuit. So there's a piece of tubing going around from one side to the other. And so now if I open this valve, nothing's going to happen. If I open this valve, still nothing's going to happen because until I can get air into here, the water is not going to come out. So finally, I will open up the last valve and now gravity can pull the water out of this vessel into this one and the air will be displaced and pushed back up into this one. Now we have gravity providing the impetus to make this happen, but a battery has its own little pump in there, a little electron pump. That's what batteries basically are, are electron pumps. And they can pump electrons from one side to the other, just like, well, I like to use a vacuum cleaner as an example. So here's a little Hoover vacuum cleaner. There's a little switch on there, turns it on and off, and there's an outlet and an inlet. And the vacuum cleaner can suck air in and it can blow the air back out. And it's like an air pump. It's like a little turbine pump in there. A uh, battery works the same way. Now, of course, it can suck air out of the atmosphere and blow it back in, but a battery would have to have a circuit because the electricity can't just simply go into the air. And I could have this circuit and have the air pumped around and maybe even have it do some work here doing something. But that's very similar to how a battery works. It works like a vacuum cleaner would pump air. 
So the battery would not depend on gravity to make this work. And then in that case, we could fill this up completely with water. And let's say there's some kind of a pumping mechanism that's trying to pump the water through. Now the water can circulate out of here, around, and back in. Now a battery, of course, cannot infinitely circulate the electrons because we are actually using up the chemical stores. And so electrons are going from one side to the other side, and eventually they will stop flowing. But for a short period of time, it looks exactly as if it's circulating like this. And so now with a battery, I can turn these two vessels into batteries and turn that into a wire. And so now with nothing connected, I can connect these two batteries together. And let's say this is the positive side and that's the negative side. That positive side is going to want to suck those electrons out, but it can't unless I let some other electrons in on this side, so I'll make the connection there. But I still have to be able to get the electrons out of here and back out the other end because I can't suck them in unless I can get the other ones out. So make that connection. Now we have a complete connection, and now the batteries can circulate the electrons and eventually discharge themselves. So the answer to the question is, the question being, why doesn't this battery suck the electrons out of this battery? It's because I can't suck electrons out unless I put electrons in the other side. And I can't suck them out unless they have some place to go. So until I make a circuit so that the electrons can flow from here to here, back around and back in and make a circuit, the battery will not discharge. So if you found that useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that gray bell when you do so you get notified when I put up new videos. And to help me put these videos online, you can go to patreon.com slash vocademy and pledge your support. A big thank you to my patrons. I couldn't make these videos and I couldn't run vocademy where you can get free vocational education without your support. And thanks to everyone for watching.